what this looks like. But it's not my fault. It's my dad, Angel. You look nervous. If you'd been through what I've been through, you'd be nervous too. Ah! I don't even know where to begin. When I first got to LA, it was great. It was magical. I figured it would inspire me to write again. I was looking for my muse. Uh, Just go with it. Uh. And did you find her? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> My in. So, this is your place. Yeah. Things got really bad. That night with Lisa. I love Stephen King. <laughs> I like him too. Yeah. Oh, here's my cat, Cujo. I, I mean, Angel. <laughs> Holy Miss Beautiful. I got to the point where I couldn't really date any other women. My cat, she would get too jealous. You underrated her gorgeousness. <laughs> I can't wait to pet her. <laughs> oh, well, maybe you shouldn't. Some people think she's dangerous. Dressed like that. It's called body armor, and I'd be up here in one of those shark cages if I could figure out how to get it up the stairs. Huh. Here's your mail. I can't believe Lisa made such a big deal over a little scratch. A little scratch? I just saw her running out of here. Looks like she sliced an artery. I wonder if she'll ever talk to me again. Not if she's like every other girl you brought up here. I'm telling you, man, you need to exercise that cat. Don't you think you're being a little extreme? Is that... Is that blood? There is nothing worse than a bloody pussy. Didn't you think you had a real problem on your hands? Not at that point. I had no idea what was to come. Things kept getting stranger after that. <laughs> Hello? Is that you blasting music? Beard. You want drugs? I think someone may have broken into my apartment. Why would anyone want to break into your apartment? I think someone might be in my kitchen. Yeah, well, I told you not to keep all that food in the refrigerator. I gotta go. Angel, 
You're not supposed to be eating late at night. Hello? I couldn't sleep. Lisa? I had a dream about you. Strange. You were about to give me a very, very large... Go on. I think I like this dream. Check. Because I sued your ass for the pain and suffering I had to endure from your pesky demon cat. Still like the dream? I'll see you in court. Oh, you still hungry, baby? I wouldn't do that if I were you. What do you mean? There's, there's blood seeping from underneath the door. <laughs> do you think we should call the cops? Don't believe everything you see, buddy. <coughs> this is real blood. <coughs> I was kidding. Hey, look. It was maple syrup. Food coloring. Oh my. Neighbors with Aunt Jemima? What do you want? It's the week before Halloween. What about the screams? I heard somebody scream. It, it's probably her. The new girl. She works in special effects. When she's working on something, she messes up. She screams. Hmm? She sounds nuts. She's one of those dramatic artists. You know, you're a writer. You're all a little moody. You know, I hope she doesn't make this a habit. Give her a break. She just moved in, and she's probably not that happy about you blasting that music. What was that about? I don't know. When I came out, there was no one there. I just got a call from Lisa. She's threatening to assume me over that scratch angel gave her. Frustrated actress. Hmm. I'm gonna need a lawyer. Here, take this. What's this? It's a number to a real professional. Okay? Friend of the family. I've used her on... More than one occasion. And you keep her number scribbled on a piece of paper in your pajamas? You never know when you'll need it. Listen, my dad's a lawyer. He goes to work. She's good. Miss Rowland, my name is Nick. I know who you are. I hear you're having a little problem with your puffy cat. How did you know? Adam told me. I've worked with Adam before. See you in one hour. Be ready. Right in. Ooh. I feel like swords. <laughs> They're not really sharp. They're for show. Where's your bathroom? Down the hallway to the right. Shit! You're making me nervous. I was about to get screwed.
I've never seen you so tongue-tied before. What the hell happened? What are you talking about? I heard screaming. When I realized it wasn't the neighbor, I headed over here. Where's Miss Rommel? Miss Rommel? How do I know? I just bought it. I was testing it out. I heard all the noise coming from your apartment when I came over here to see what was happening. You told me Miss Rommel was a lawyer. No, I said she was a professional. Where is she, anyway? I don't know. It's you, man. You're screwing with me, aren't you? Me? Why would I do that? I'm telling you, it's probably that cat. Seems to be the only logical explanation. Logical explanation? That my cat is possessed by a demon and attacked a lawyer who really isn't a lawyer, but a dominatrix mistress? You should be glad she's not a lawyer. Assuming it was your cat who attacked her? I'm gonna sue from another chick. You've been a big help. Thanks. I don't think she's gonna say anything. What makes you so sure? Because it looks to me like the cat got her tongue. After that, I was haunted with guilt. Or something.
What did I scare you? I just brought you some milk. The healthy cramp? The kind you like? A little vitamin D? Have you heard from Miss Rama yet? No, but I'm thinking no news is good news. Jeez, man, why do you still have this? What am I supposed to do with it? Throw it away? What if someone finds it? So you're gonna keep it in your refrigerator? Throw it down the garbage disposal or something. If she comes back and wants her tongue back. <laughs> what are you doing? My impression of somebody asking for their tongue back. You're sick. Listen, I've been called a lot worse by a lot better. I hired a therapist. You need a cat whisperer. <sighs> Look. What do you think? Uh, yeah, she is way too hot to be any good. She's the only one to make house calls. She's coming later today. Well, I better get rid of this then. Last thing you need is to be making a drink for this girl and accidentally slip her the tongue. I think it's love. Pardon? Not real love, but love addiction. So, are you saying that it's not real love? It's real for her, but that doesn't mean it's real love. You see, love addicts lack self-esteem, likely from some early life loss or trauma. So they get wrapped up in the drama, wanting others to love them to the point of obsession. How do you know so much about this? <laughs> because I used to be a love addict too. That's great. Give her the attention she thinks she wants, and then maybe, She'll stop sinking her claws so deeply into you. Oh, stop that. Just you and me tonight. Oh, yeah. You, you touch my heart. You make me sweet like no. Taking that therapist's suggestion a little too far? What are you doing, Alan? I'm trying to sleep. I can see that. I know you're a little desperate, but you're sleeping with your cat. Come on, man. What do you mean? I sleep with her all the time. I'm recording this, right? You'll never write in this town again. That's not what you think. Really? Re rose petals? Well, did Angel calm down after that? For a little bit. Like the sparrow needs his wings to fly. I just need your kiss to live. Come on, little sparrow.
Did you ever figure out what the note meant? Sort of. <laughs> Grandma was the first to sniff things out. It was like she can smell trouble before it happened. certainly doesn't look okay. What do you mean? No, she's not herself. Maybe it's something she ate. Something she ate? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I know cats. <laughs> so, about you. You look tired. Are you all right? It's been a rough few days. How's your love life? <laughs> Please. I know women, too. <laughs> and I know some of them can be downright villainous. But if you need me, please don't be afraid to call. I may be old, but I have nine lives as well. And I'm as fierce as any feline. Thank you, Grandma. I appreciate that. But the nightmares just kept getting worse. have really taken a downward spiral lately. I've been having these nightmares. What sort of nightmares? <gasps> Sexual ones. With anyone in particular? Mm, no. Are you aware that your legs are shaking? I'm going to be candid. You're sexually frustrated. Angel has prevented you from having any real relationship with a woman, and it's driving you crazy. Do you masturbate? I masturbate? I masturbate? Pardon? It's nothing to be ashamed of. It helps release all this built-up tension. I've tried it. It just doesn't work for me. Well, have you tried embracing Angel's love like we discussed? I have. And is it working? I don't really know. She hasn't tried to attack anyone lately. I suppose that's progress. You touch my heart. You oh! oh, stop it. So I got fired from my job today. I didn't even know you had a job. Well, I did. For about three days. I was an extra. How does one get fired for being extra? It's actually simpler than you might think. It's taking a non-speaking role and turning it into a speaking role. I figured, what's the point of being an extra if you're not doing something extra? The director disagreed. 
So, you got axed? It's the makeup artist downstairs. She's using me as a model for some new horror movie she's working on. Adam, if you don't mind, I'm trying to have dinner with my cat here. All right, I, I'll leave, I'll leave. Did I scare you? Who are you? Pluto. Detective Pluto. I am here. I am investigating the disappearance of one Lisa Graves. I didn't know Lisa was missing. What a nice kitty. What is that? <laughs> Breath mint. Don't mind if I do. I think he's giving you the finger. I, well, I, I, no, I, I still don't understand why the detective bit this finger. I don't know. What about the finger? It wasn't real. I got it from the makeup lady downstairs. I must have dropped it. Why did you say something? I didn't want to complicate things. You nearly gave me a heart attack. Where are you going? I'm gonna tell that mysterious neighbor of mine what I think of the screams, the blood in the hallway, and her giving you the finger! by the moment. I needed to clear my head. But every corner I turned led me deeper into a fog of mystery. Running from someone? Can I help you? I hope so. 
I believe you used to date my daughter. Oh. I don't know where Lisa is. Lisa? No. I... My last name is Carrie. I'm Rosemary's mother. Rosemary. Do you remember her? Yes. <laughs> How's Rosemary doing? She's dead. I'm really sorry to hear about. Rosemary. Right, Rosemary. We dated like a couple of years ago. Six months ago. She was blonde? Brunette. It's all so foggy to me. Really? Because she wrote about you in her diary. Here. Read it. Go ahead. She wouldn't mind. If you don't mind my asking, how did she die? Poison. Oh my god. No! It moved. The box moved. Please be careful. I'm pigmacophobic. A fear of boxes. You never know what you might find in them. My husband once brought home a crate. It's all right. It's nothing to be afraid of. It's just my cat, Angel. How can you be so sure? I used to be a lurophobic. A fear of cats? But that's not what this is. This is phasmophobia. Getting out of here. Wait, forgot this. Phasmophobia? Fear of ghosts? <laughs> So is that the diary? Mm -hmm. Written by a woman you don't remember dating, who apparently hated your cat. What were you thinking? Thought I needed a therapist. The trouble started with the cat, so I'll kill the cat and end all that. And as for ye who mocks what's written, you'll die just like that pesky kitten, as a conjure joke of my own, to come and slay thee in thy home. Your ex wrote that? All things like that, filled with spells. The girl thought she was a witch and hated Angel. What I can't figure out is, well, I don't remember dating her. Maybe you blocked it out. It sounds like you should stick with your cat. It's probably safer. I love Angel, but I never can love, love Angel. It was a joke. I was just trying to cheer you up. Why 
I don't know what's gotten over me. Why don't you get some sleep? Yeah. I thought you were dead. Are you? Where is that Hellcat? Look, you're upset and sick. Very sick.
Ninja. Angel. Angel. Why did Angel run away? I don't know for sure. Did you ever find out where she went? No. Valentine's Day was right around the corner. And once again, I was alone. <laughs> Happy VD, buddy! Oh. Looks like you started without me. the cat ones. I hate toilets. All right. Let's get this party started. It's oh, yeah. Valentine's Day. Yes. Happy yes. Valentine's Day. You coming with me to my hostel? Can I tear open your heart? Oh, sure. <laughs> Almost as good as sex. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. I have to use the bathroom. Where's Adam? Unconscious. Where's Lindsay? Oh, do you like pain? Not in particular. Um, 
So maybe I should leave. Shut up. Doctor? Is she all right now? She's fine now that she's back with me. <laughs> I was referring to the girl who fell down the stairs. Oh, um, mild concussion and a few scratches. More shook up than anything else. And how do you feel about everything? Horrible. Like, giving up on dating women altogether. Safer for everyone that way. That would be a shame. You think so? Yes, I, I do. You have so much to offer the right woman. Hold on a second. It's helping. It's helping big time. What was that noise? Meow. Uh, that. I don't hear anything. 
I have a bad feeling that if I stay here, things are gonna get out of hand. I'll be fine. I promise. No, no, I'm sorry. I have to go. Don't. Had we met under better circumstances, maybe. What are you doing here with a knife? Why are you dressed like Miss Bates? Because I love you, man. Are you here to kill me? Not really. I actually want to kill that therapist bitch. Then I came to my senses. I'm not a murderer. I'm an artist. An artist? There is no downstairs neighbor. I made her up. What? Yeah, it was me all along. I needed an excuse to get you to come visit me downstairs. What you need an excuse for? Because you care about that stupid cat more than you care about me. You don't want to meet the therapist. <laughs> oh, and since we're bearing all here, I never really thought your cat was possessed. I was just jealous because you loved her more than me. You cold? I painted the pentagram on the mirror. I put the fake blood in the hallway. And I put the tongue in the bedroom. You mean that wasn't Miss Rommel's tongue? No, buddy, it was a fake. And a pretty good one, too, if I do say so myself. Convinced the crap out of you. Why? Because I wanted to convince you to get rid of that cat. And ever since you got her, I lost my wingman. We used to party. We used to do things together. So, you did those things because you wanted your wingman back? Mostly. But then I realized there was something more. What? I realized that I didn't, didn't just want my wingman back. I wanted my wingman in the back. <laughs> Are you gonna get that? Are you trying to tell me that you're gay? That's not me. And that's not me either. So I guess that's when your love affair with the therapist came to an abrupt end. It was hard to see a future with her after that. Well, I guess it was pretty hard for her to see anything after that, because... Uh, <clears throat> so, that's when you realized it wasn't just Adam. Your cat really was possessed. Only you still didn't know who was possessing your cat. 
Right. I was just looking for a miracle. Hmm. You have quite a collection of books. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm a bit of a bibliophile. It's a bibliophile. <laughs> it's Latin. Biblio meaning books, file meaning lover of. It means lover of books. Oh, I see you have a pet. Yeah. Her name's Angel. I love pets. Guess that makes me a pedophile. Well, Father. That's what I kind of wanted to talk to you about. I believe my pussy's possessed. Have you ever performed an exorcism on a cat? We cast you from our midst by one clean spirit. All satanic powers. All infernal invaders. You think it will still work if I... I don't believe in God? You don't believe in God? Why do you believe in the devil if you don't believe in God? I don't believe in the devil either. Please, try not to hurt her. Be prepared. This is gonna get ugly. Here, kitty. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. What is it? Has the demon overtaken your voice?
go check on him. But when you went back into the room, there was no sign of any of it. No flying poop on the wall, no burning bed sheets, no fur ball from hell. Nothing. I was losing hope. Is your life empty and full of pain? Actually, yes. Good. I am here to help you find everlasting salvation from eternal damnation. Right now, I have bigger problems. Let us talk to you about the only book worth reading. I'm sorry, guys. You're wasting your... No. I know karate. You don't want to touch that. Rubbish. Do you believe in the devil? Why do you ask? My cat. I think she's possessed. <laughs> Aren't all cats possessed? Silence! This is no ordinary cat. She attacked my ex-girlfriend. Turned her into a flesh decaying zombie. So I hired a cat therapist. She attacked her too. Ripped her eye out. So I tried to get her exercised. Your therapist? No, my cat. But she attacked two priests. One evaporated into thin air. The other ran away with a nasty gash on his chest. I don't even want to tell you what it said. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I just know the longer you two stay here, the more likely she's going to get pretty mad. of the blues. Why are you always pull a superiority card on me? Do not question me. You think your cat's bad? Try hanging around with this guy. He's a little tyrant. Does this feline of yours have a name? Angel. Where is this angel? Down the hallway. In the bedroom. Wait. I warn you. If you go to her, she'll be most displeased. Go. Why do I always have to be the one? Do not disobey me. Fear not. He who is with me, and I am with you. It's just a cat.
she wasn't even knocking. Oh. I was worried about you. What? This stuff will kill you. I'll live. Unfortunately. Where's Angel? Sleeping. All right. Watching this movie. In the movie, this woman hires a psychic medium to perform a seance, trapping the evil spirit in a goat. Then she kills the goat, thereby ridding herself of the evil spirit. Adam, it was a movie. So? Doesn't mean it's not true. What makes you think this medium is going to succeed where two priests fail? I don't know. Maybe the spirit you're dealing with isn't Catholic. Find peace, knowing there is no end. Let the medium help you. Call 555-2368. Sorry, I didn't get your name. You may call me the medium. It's just such a strange profession, you know? So where is this cat of yours? You know better than to call me when I'm with a client. Well, tell the meter mate I'll be out in a minute. Oh, I gotta go. So here she is. Here's Angel. I see. Wait, where are you going? Well, you can't afford me. How do you know? We haven't even discussed price. I'm a medium. I sense these things. You see. This is no ordinary spirit. She has great power. How much? I can't afford that. I know. I was just considering my options. What stopped you? My cat. I couldn't leave her like that. Even after everything she put you through. I got the money! What are you doing? Uh, I was checking to see why it wasn't working. Where'd you get all that dough? I emptied out my bank account. Seriously? I don't know what to say. Uh, I'll pay you back. I know you will, buddy. But for the time being, I'll settle for a kiss. On the cheek. I didn't feel anything at all. You know, maybe I'm not even gay. Good. Yeah, let's try it again, just to be on the safe side. Mm -mm. No? Can't say I didn't try. Well, hopefully this medium knows what the hell she's doing. I don't know. She's my only hope. You're a disgrace to your gypsy family. Taking money from people? You don't even believe in spirits or the afterlife. Okay, I bring people closure. But what does it matter what I believe? Just as long as they do. Justifying, justifying, always justifying. You mess with things you don't understand, you get hurt. Who'll protect you then, huh? That's what I've got you here for, little sister. What we are about to do here is very dangerous. I have placed on the table objects to attract the spirit. Objects of the spirit's own choosing. 
This spirit has sacrificed everything for passion. How do you know that? Oh, my sister is a very powerful medium, too. We come from a family of very powerful mediums. I read her diary. Yeah, let me get a read on this. So, can, can we get started here? Because time is money. What's with the goat? It's a ram. We are going to try to transfer the spirit from your cat into this goat. Oh, you fools. You have no idea what you're dealing with. This is a most powerful spirit and a vengeful one. Yeah, yeah, we know, sister. But thank you for those words of wisdom. Now, if you don't mind, I'm trying to run a business here. We beseech you, spirit. Speak to us. Tell us who you are and what it is you desire. How do we know this is working? Oh, you'll know. I warned you, sister. You see? You see what you're dealing with? Do you want to wait in the car? We see you still better. So she could kidnap your cat while you slept. She planned to poison it because she thought that you would never love her as long as the cat was alive. How did you know all that? It's in the diary. You planned the poison angel? Yes, but I changed my mind because I knew you would never love me. Just as me. So instead, I poisoned myself. <laughs> I was dramatic. Silence! <laughs> but, because I was laying there about to die, I was careful to cast one last spell. What spell? One final spell. To transfer my spirit into the thing that you loved most of all in life. What a bitch! I'm sorry, but I don't love you. I barely know you. And no spell or matter of witchcraft is ever gonna change that. <laughs> Her sadness has weakened her. Rest, sister, rest. I will summon her this time. When the time is right, we must expel the spirit from the cat and into the goat, as we plan. I hope it works. It'll work. I saw it in a movie once. Bring in the cat. Whatever you do, don't let the cat out of the bag. Now. Shut
I want you. And I will destroy anybody who comes my way. Stop it. You fool. You killed my sister. Now I will kill you. Find death itself. You think you're any match for me? If I can't have you, nobody will. No. Yes. No. Yes. I need to follow you, you fool. No, you're not. I am. I'm tired of pretending to be somebody I'm not. Not the downstairs neighbor. Not the possessed, possessive witch. extra or some secondary character. This brought meaning to my life. I'm gonna come back stronger than ever. Like Obi-Wan Kenobi. This is not a movie, Adam. This is real. Oh my god, it is real. <laughs> you do care. <laughs> I guess I'm too much of a woman for them to handle, wouldn't you say? Rosemary Carey. I thought you were dead. <laughs> Is that any way to greet a lady? We come from down below, baby. <laughs> we come from down below, we come from down below. We're crazy little kids, that much we know. We come from down below, we come from down below. We're sexy as what sexy is from paw to toe. We come from down below, we come from down below. Them and we dice and then we burn them back We come from down below Where all the devils go With you to names to play the games get burned, you know We come from down below We come from down below We're sexy and what sexy is from Paul to Joe I wasn't always evil I had a heart of gold But once my life was ruined My blood ran Love is full of many emotions. Hate is only one of them. <sighs> Your little kitten watches helplessly as you die. Just as I was forced to watch you helplessly. So. Only without my power, your little angel is powerless to save you. Yes. Oh, baby. Oh, baby! Ah. Ah. Back off, you wicked feline!
All that, all that, because some obsessive chick had a crush on you? Some people are crazy. It didn't help that she happened to be a witch, who her own way loved me, I guess. Yeah, more like hated you? Love is filled with many emotions. Hate is only one of them. I love that line. And then there was Lisa. Yes, Lisa. Where were you, Lisa? I waited by your place for like an hour. Where are you? I'm back at my place now. <sighs> I said to meet me at your place. <laughs> You're so silly. <sighs> you must have gotten a few purples in the brain. Or maybe you're suffering from, what's that disease called? Toxic plasma? What took you so long? You look normal. Thanks. I can make some coffee here if you want. I just got back. I don't feel like walking out again. At your place? Now? Sure. Why not? But your cat? I told you. You have nothing to worry about now. Right. You had her exercised. Hmm. Something like that. Is something wrong? Strange. Angel doesn't drink milk. Oh? What's strange about that? It's just that there's milk in our bowl. Well, maybe she's trying to tell you something. I'm sure a little milk wouldn't hurt her. I hear milk is good for cats. <laughs> hmm. You all right? Um, yeah. Do you like milk in your coffee? Yes, please. So, where is your little brat? I mean, cat. I told you, you have nothing to worry about. No milk for you? No, oh, I like mine black. You know, things will be better off once your cat is dead. How could you say such a thing? She is really a mean little kitty. She really was possessed. I know it's hard to believe, but look, even you, you're better now. The curse is lifted. Things will be back to normal. I promise. I don't know what I'd do without my cat. She's all I have left. <laughs> Losing Adam was hard. I've suffered so much loss and tragedy lately. <coughs> the cops still don't know what happened to the medium. Her sister still hasn't said a word since the incident. <coughs> At least I got a good lawyer. I'm tired of people dying all around me. <coughs> so, oh, okay, so you're the only one to survive. You're the only one who can back up this story. No, the medium sister survived, unfortunately. any harm. I place a curse on you, you pesky pussycat. But what happened to my sister? 
May all manner of demons, vermin, and beasts. May all goblins, vampires, and ghouls haunt you in your troublesome path. May a thousand legions of hell spawn, seek thee out all the days of your life. Until you and your cat suck, as my sister and I have suffered. Until the end of time. Get out of here. Sick of witches. Hollywood? Yeah, I was actually going to take a bus there myself. That way. Who takes the bus in LA? <laughs> Do you want us to give you a ride? Yeah, we can, uh, we can give you a ride. Didn't your mother teach you not to pick up strangers? It's okay, I can take the bus. He doesn't look dangerous to me. What's in the bag? It's a cat. It's only a cat. Aww. I love cats! Well, I suppose we can make an exception this time. Yes! Here, come with us! Come on! Me, my luck is finally changing. Fuss over a little cat? <laughs> You're very cute. Aww. Her name is Angel. Aww, cute name. Can we pet your cat? As your publisher, it doesn't matter what I believe, because I'm gonna make, we're gonna make millions, millions on this. Boom, out, over, rich. Together, well, we have to negotiate this. I'll do a little better. I have a lot more expensive. I've got kids in the house, what do you got? Yeah, no, you got a cat, what's that gonna cost? Well, it's getting late. I, uh, better get going. She really is a cute cat. Do you mind if I pet her? Chainsaw Kitty I'm unlike those other accounts 
thoughts My spirit looks for danger No one can avoid my scratch My claws are like dead razors I'm not like those other cats Cause my spirit looks for danger No one can avoid my scratch Cause I'm a chainsaw kitty And I wanna die on something more I'm the kitty.